Artistic vegetable arranging was one of the earliest courses market traders could take on at St Martin's School of Art, and so began a relationship between industry and art college that continues today. Close links have provided industry with new ideas and learnings. Art colleges have kept their courses current and relevant thanks to industry. Since CSM, along with five other colleges, were granted university status, and the higher ideals that come with that, it seems timely to re-examine the relationship between industry and art education. My development project asks, what do students want from their art education? And what effect do industry projects have on their educational progress? Can these projects sit alongside the university's pedagogy and purpose as defined by the frontline staff who deliver it? My research involved informal one-to-one -one interviews with tutors, managers and students. Students who do not see me as a full-time staff member were candid in their replies. Some tutors were a little bit more cautious until I reassured them of their anonymity. These interviews informed and refined my digital survey, which was subsequently sent out to a wider audience of tutors and students. My findings did highlight some tensions between what the students want and what the tutors believe they need. While industry projects were enthusiastically embraced by students, they did appear to compromise a more experimental approach by the students. This deserves further scrutiny, given industry practitioners are constantly asking for more original and more radical thinking. Surprisingly, I also found the social and environmental agenda was not on the students' importance radar at all. And so, new questions present themselves. How can we harness the students' enthusiasm for industry projects and their primary concern to get a job alongside UAL's social and environmental agenda? Further, how can industry projects be managed to catalyse, not restrict, radical creative thinking? It's a difficult balancing act, but I believe one that can be achieved to serve both university ambitions and industry more effectively whether the students are planning a career in vegetable arranging or in the wider art and design industries.